Deuces Wild Fishing Charters here, going to take an adventure on the kayak. <clears throat> Stole Ace's kayak today, he had to go to school, so I decided to steal his kayak and see what uh, what this is all about. And, uh, dragging and some drifting and see what we can do with 60, 61 degree water temperature, big fish in the kayak, something new for me. Uh, Ace is uh, getting to be quite the... Uh, kayak fisherman first line set up I got a couple dragging lines out the back on some Zach Royce planer boards a uh, creek channel right now headed out to the main channel um, gonna drag out here to the main channel and drop some uh, down rods I'm gonna use this chest harness today but I think y'all want to see my pretty face just gonna kind of cruise along through here and uh, see what we can do all right guys we got our first fish on a little small blue gets the skunk off the kayak good way to start the day just a nice little dink but first fish in the boat let him go we're uh going right down this ledge in front of a uh two creek channel so Trying to stay out on the ledge, cross some two creek channels here, and see what we can pick up. Alright, fish number two. This one hit a little bit harder. He's fighting a little bit more, but a lot of head shaking. He's not going to be super big. Let's see if we can get him up here. Oh, that's what we call quick, quick release. So, what I got going on here. I got two down rods and two dragging rods. I got the uh, planer boards out. I had one hit on the planer board. He didn't keep it. I got the two fish so far on my down rods uh, with the knocker rig. I'm just, oh, I'm getting hit again right now. Just put out a head this time and um, they're hitting the head right away. We want to see that uh, rod go down into the water and take me over get the big fish in I have zero electronics I have uh, no Navionics I don't have anything today I'm just trial and error doing my best to uh, keep my rods in a good position by feeling the bottom with my rods uh, that is why I have two dragging rods out uh, the dragging rods help me because uh, they will stay on the bottom no matter what if the depth changes or not so I only have to play with two of my rods and just leave the other two out at all times. Okay, third fish on. Ugh. They feel huge in a kayak. Now he's, he's gonna be a decent one. First decent one of the day. And by the way, rookie mistake. Got my dragon rods out back and I did not check them uh, well enough and I was had no bait so I remedied that situation when I get a big fish big fish that'll be a thing to see come on buddy help me out there we go all right, let's see what we got here. All right, come on, buddy. There we go. Not a bad one, not at all. Five seconds. I mean, by I hit it, I set it, and boom, he freaking nailed it. And this is even a better fish than the last one. I didn't even have this down for oh there it goes this is a good fish another nice blue whoa definitely interesting fishing out of a kayak let's see what we can do here uh, we need to tire them out here all right. Get the 
this hook out. There we go. There we go. Nice blue. Nice. All right. I'm gonna let him go. And there he goes. Catch and release. There we go. I caught this little one. Swim away with my bait. Thought he was sly. Tried to sneak away. And when we say small, we mean small. Little sucker. Come on, man. Where's your grandpappy? But you know what? But fish is a fish. That's fun stuff right there. Oh, this other rod's getting hit right now. There we go. Little one. I think that was fish number five or six. Not sure. But I'm getting all my all my fish are getting hit on these uh, down rods. Um, my dragon rods, not so much. But all right. So I'm getting sick of dragon. I wasn't doing any good, right? Brought in my first dragon rod, no problem. Uh, brought in my second one, and I just had a fish sit, just sitting on this thing. Alright, just a little baby flathead, but nice stuff right there. Woo-wee! Adding to the total. Ah, he got me. Okay, fish on again. I lost count. I'm at six or seven, I think. Um, we'll see here. Decent fish. No little small dink of a blue. I'm getting a bunch of little hits through here, so we'll see what happens. I just had another one take me down, and I couldn't get the rod out of the rod holder because he was pulling so hard. And then he, because I could not reel down and get the rod out of the rod holder, he got off. So be careful when you lip fish with these turtle hooks because they, they spin on you like this. You could get that hook in your hand or your thumb or your finger. So just be careful when you do that if, if you lip them. Um, I only lip small ones, small dinks like this one. I don't lift the big ones because, well, I'm not that big. So there's another little blue. Oh, another blue cat, I think, on a head. This guy got on a head, but man, he's doing a little bit more head shaking than I want him to. So that tells me he's not very big. Um, he hit it hard though. He hit ahead. Oh my gosh. Man, he... <laughs> he was doing his best to be a 30 pounder. A little 5 pounder smoked my head and decided to pull some drag. That is hilarious. But that is why you come fishing. Because you just don't know what's going to happen. You just don't. It's so fun. Amazingly fun. So again, we'll see if we can lift this guy. Uh, not a tarp fish, but fun to catch anyways. Let this guy go. See you, bud. Woohoo! Alright. We're on again. Good fish, good fish. Again, the guys, I lost count. Right, this has got to be eight or nine maybe. Um, I gotta figure out a way to keep count. Oh, this guy does not want to give up. He does not. There he is. Oh wow, he's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, there he goes. There he is. 
Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Tell you what, these backstabber hooks, these things are awesome. Love them. Let's get this rod down. Let's take a look at this guy. Good fish. Nope. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Have a great morning. CPR, catch, catch and release. And come on, buddy. There he goes. Voila. Gone. All right, guys. That is it. It is about noon. I've been out here since about 8 30. 